Neanderthals were stronger, faster, and maybe even smarter than Homo sapiens, so how did we win? Physically, they were built like tanks. Stocky, broad-chested, barreled, torsoed with thick bones and massive muscle attachments. They were the NFL linebacker version of humanity. There's even evidence that they were fast. Their limb proportions suggest shoulder legs and powerful strides good for sprinting, not marathons. These guys were sprinters. Fast, athletic, strong, powerful, explosive. So while your ancestors were jogging across the savannas for hours, Neanderthals were exploding through the woods like an angry rhino. Uh, but how about those brains? Bigger skulls don't automatically mean that they were smarter, but it does mean different, likely wired for visual spatial processing, body coordination, and survival in harsh ice age conditions. They weren't dumb socially either. They buried their dead, they made tools, hunted in groups, they used medicinal herbs, and possibly even made art. At the very least, they weren't just smashing things with rocks and calling it a day. So what happened? Well, around 40,000 years ago, Homo sapiens moved into Europe. Within a few thousand years, Neanderthals were gone. Maybe we outcompeted them. Maybe we interbred with them. Boiler, if you're non-African, you've got a 1 to 2% Neanderthal DNA right now. One theory is we may have been better at long distance running and, and movement and that ability to relocate and migrate. So there you have it. Neanderthals may have been stronger, faster, and bigger brain than us, but somehow we outlasted them. Good for us. We did it.